Hi guys, this is Step Up. So I wanted to come to you with this particular video from a brother in Christ. He has a YouTube chat channel and I recommend it to you it, if uh, you w are interested in dealing with your personal relationships um, and especially romantic relationships that you are thinking about um, you know, questioning or having trouble with, or just various issues uh, that you're dealing with that are natural to relationships, especially in uh, the generation that we find ourselves in, which has uh, become so wicked and perverse. Uh, these issues are prevalent all the time. So I wanted to share this with you. I recommend his channel if you need, um, you have uh, further issues, questions, and need a more biblical uh, understanding of how to deal with relational issues and relationships in a godly and holy manner as we are called to do, to be holy as he is holy. And that is our Lord Jesus Christ, to be Christ-like. So um, I'm going to link this original video in the description box as well in case you want to go back and check out other content uh, from our brother in Christ and I highly recommend that um, it, even as just an encouragement alone of uh, you know helping encourage you that you are on the right path um, again this is not a be-all end-all our first authority is the Bible and this is what he bases his um teachings on absolutely and uh it's very sound doctrine i found him presenting very sound doctrine and so uh his his spirit uh, testifies with my spirit which testifies with the holy spirit in me as well so go ahead and um uh, i recommend that you check out his channel also so here's this particular video I wanted to share on you because this just is the basic for the starting point with all things in a relationship, which is clues that Satan is tempting you with a bad relationship. So these are four clues um, that you can start with and to get you uh, acquainted with a better understanding of uh, what you're facing with this spiritual battle in your personal relationships. So I'm going to play this for you now and I pray and hope this blesses you as it has me. And may the peace of Christ be with you in all your own and thanks for watching guys. Here are four clues that might mean Satan is trying to use a bad relationship to tempt you away from Christ. Number one, if a relationship is causing new, unhealthy patterns in your life, this relationship is being used as a temptation. There's a big difference in the Bible between sinning and living in sin. All Christians are on the path of sanctification, which means that at times we still stumble. However, once a true Christian disobeys God, the Holy Spirit will bring a healthy conviction in their heart and that person will respond by repenting. When you are living in sin, though, this is when you are no longer repenting and you are making this sin a regular habit in your life. While we must never take even just one sin lightly, we are warned about the extreme dangers of living in sin. 1 John chapter 3 verses 7 through 8 state, Whoever makes a practice of sinning is of the devil, for the devil has been sinning from the beginning. The reason the Son of God appeared was to destroy the works of the devil. So if a relationship is contributing to a new pattern of sin in your life that was not there before this relationship started, this is a sign Satan is using this relationship against you. Number two. If you are tempted to ignore someone's sinful actions because of their religious words, this relationship is being used as a temptation against you. 
When God does not want you in a relationship, he will rarely create supernatural signs to tell you this. Rather, he will bring a healthy conviction in your heart and show you things about this person that do not align with the Bible. So if you are tempted to ignore someone's sinful behavior because you really want to be in a relationship with this person, this is probably a sign Satan is tempting you with this relationship. 2 Corinthians chapter 11 verses 13 through 15 say, For such men are false apostles, deceitful workmen, disguising themselves as apostles of Christ. And no wonder, for even Satan disguises himself as an angel of light. So it is no surprise if his servants also disguise themselves as servants of righteousness. Their end will correspond to their deeds. Never place someone's words over their deeds. People can claim to be walking with God, but you will know the truth by looking at how they live their life. Number three, if an unmet relationship desire is causing you to become angry, this relationship is a temptation. There's nothing wrong with wanting to be in a relationship. It's not a sin to be disappointed if you sense God telling you not to date someone even though you really want to. However, Satan could be using a relationship to tempt you away from God if you are starting to get angry about God saying no to this relationship desire. Ephesians 4, 26 through 27 state, Be angry and do not sin. Do not let the sun go down on your anger and give no opportunity to the devil. All anger is not the same, but when our anger causes us to turn from God or to act in unloving ways, this is an opportunity for the devil to pull you away from Christ. And number four, if a relationship is corrupting your pure devotion to Christ, Satan is using it as a temptation in your life. Humans bear God's image more than anything else in all of creation. Therefore, Satan will often use another human as an idol in your life to tempt you away from the one true God that your heart ultimately desires most. 2 Corinthians chapter 11 verse 3 explains, But I am afraid that as the serpent deceived Eve by his cunning, your thoughts will be led astray from a sincere and pure devotion to Christ. If a relationship is beginning to corrupt your thoughts, this relationship is being used by the enemy as an evil influence in your life. If you sense any of these attacks in your life, do what James 4 verse 7 commands. Submit yourselves therefore to God, resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Here's a playlist of past videos I've created about spiritual warfare and relationships. I would highly recommend watching these videos so you are aware of the schemes the enemy may be trying to use against you. I hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching and God bless.